Hi friends, it's Todd here in Cory, Pennsylvania. I thought I'd do a song for you on this uh, Japanese festival auto harp that uh, Art Bailey Allen steered me on to. Um, I've been doing a lot of auto harp setups and kind of running out of keys and ideas. This one I set up in B and F sharp. I have a C and a G harp, and I have an F and a C. I can do C and up lots of keys, but B is kind of new for me. Brian Bowers used to tell me if you want to learn to sing, you should do a lot of key checks. What he meant by that was take a song that you know well and try it out in different keys. He said go through all the different keys you can think of, whether it's A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, all the way up. You get back to G and G sharp and A. And he said, whatever, you'll find out where your range fits and where the song fits. So I don't do a lot of songs in B because I don't have an auto harp in B very often, but this one I did. It's a song by the great Merle Haggard. Uh, it's just called Kern River. My friend Hal and I used to do a lot of traveling around the country, the festivals in California and Utah. And one of the things we love to do is do open mics during the week. One open mic uh, we did with Laura Lind out in California it was a, it was an all women's open mic until you were done. And then they would let the men sing, but only if you wore a tutu. It was kind of an interesting, a different approach to the open mic. And Hal had an idea what we should do is have an open mic America YouTube and record stuff, and then eventually it would get picked up by the networks, and we'd all become rich and famous. Never happened, but it's kind of fun. So one night I was with Hal and, um, in the Denver area and we were going to go to a open mic in the famous Swallow Hill Folk Music Center and they had something else going on so we went back to Hal's sister's house in the suburbs of uh, Denver and he decided to go on home but I saw a an Irish pub that said open mic night. And I thought, oh, model art, oh, Irish music will fit in just fine. So I dropped Hal off and I went back to this Irish pub and it turned out it was a kind of a honky tonk country music open mic sort of deal. And they had a house band that did a lot of old country um, type music and um, and then they let people come up and sing their songs. And there was a fellow there who, who got up for half an hour and sang all these beautiful Merle Haggard songs. He sounds just like Merle Haggard. If I took a picture of him and posted it, you'd say, well, that's Merle Haggard. What's he doing there in Denver? So when he was finished, I sat down next to him and I said, you you're quite the singer there. You have a lot of Merle Haggard in your voice and the way you look. How'd you get that way? And he said, well, I was a long haul truck driver and I used to play Merle Haggard songs on my, on my cassette tapes. And I would sing along with those uh, songs and that's how I learned to sing. And I said, well, that's a wonderful way to learn. Just sing along with the songs you love to sing and pretty soon you'll catch on. And that's sort of the way I've approached it. So this is a Merle Haggard song. When I got up, he had not done this song, but I knew that he knew it. And, and the only way I knew it is I heard Dave Alvin, the great Americana music singer, do it, but he was doing it as a tribute to Merle. So that night I did it as a tribute to my long haul truck driver who was a Merle Haggard fan.
never swim Kern River again. It was there that I met her and there that I lost my best friend. I live on a mountain, drifted up here with the wind. I may drown in still waters, but I'll never swim Kern River again. Well, I was born in an oil town, but my gusher never came in. And that river was a boundary where me and my darling would swim. Night in the moonlight, a swift current took us away. I may drown in still waters, but I'll never swim Kern River. I'll never swim Kern River away. It was there that I met her and there that I lost my best friend. I live on a mountain, drifted up here in the wind. Drown in still waters, but I'll never swim Kern River again. In the South San Joaquin, the seeds of the Dust Bowl were sown. There's a place called Mount Whitney where the mighty Kern River runs down. Deeper wide, but she's a mean stretch of water, my friend. I may drown in still waters, but I'd never swim Kern River again. I'd never swim Kern River again. It was there that I met her. Live on a mountain, drifted up here to the wind. I may drown in still waters, but I, I'll never swim for a river again. That's um, Merle Haggard's Kern River down on a, not a harp that plays primarily in key of B. Not usual, but it's good key for me to sing that song. Um, I think I did that song one time at the California Gathering because it's uh, sort of relevant to that region of the country. In South San Joaquin, where the seeds of the Dust Bowl were sown. Tag is sort of looking over the San Joaquin Valley. It's a beautiful place. Don't know that I'll ever get back there, but I loved going there when I was a part of that festival. Um, don't know that I'm ever going to record a, so uh, a CD, but my friend Rick Sanderson talked to me today, and 
I'm going down to Virginia this weekend to visit my family, and he lives down there outside of Richmond. He said I should come by and we can hang out a little bit. I may do that if I can fit it in the time frame. But he, he said he really loved me to do a CD. I'm not, it's not in my purview to do a CD. I've always enjoyed singing music and then being done when it was over. But it's getting to the point where if I don't record something, there'll never be a record of what I've done other than a few of these YouTube videos. And um, my friend Bailey does a lot of CDs. Huh? He's really good at it, so I may ask him to help me produce something. And I talked to Robert Grapple today, who's, he and his wife have uh, done a scholarship for auto art players to record albums and CDs to the Mount Lower All the Harp Gathering. So I may apply for that. I don't know. It's, it's never part of my big picture of what I hope for in life, but it might be time to do a CD of 12 auto harps, each one in a different tuning, a different key with different chords. And um, the title I would give it would be, and some of the words were there, and I would record some of the songs I love by great songwriters like Merle Haggard. And uh, see how many I can do and on 12 different auto harps. We'll see. I don't know. Nice talking to you. Catch you next time. I have a Phoenix Auto Harp I'm going to work on soon, so who knows? I may be done, but I'm getting close to where I don't have too many ideas left. But it's kind of fun to work on these things. All right. I'll talk to you later.